people are suggesting that we are witnessing the end of a state-based system in the Middle East and North Africa, and in fact in many parts of the region. But I think that's over-exaggerated. It is, to be sure, true that many of these very strong states have weakened since the Arab uprisings of 2011. We once had authoritarian systems that have become more brittle. Uh, but only in some places have the borders themselves actually dissolved. In the rest of the region, what you have are more crises of legitimacy. There are also states that are going to still exist where national identity is very strong. The Persian-Iranian identity is intact, and that is a strong state system. Egypt, while there is deep questions about the legitimacy of the government, has a strong nationalist identity, and that is the largest Arab country. And many of the other countries also have a sense of nationalist identity that will probably not give way to more ideological or religious challenges. So what we're seeing right now is the end of a peaceful movement, um, largely nonviolent for democratic change. Many of these movements, as in Syria, have transformed to more violent civil conflicts. Many people are looking around the modern Middle East and seeing one crisis and violent um, situation after another. They're watching Libya. They're watching Syria, they're seeing Yemen, and they're seeing a lot of violent groups and non-state actors, terrorist groups proliferating. And it is true that what we're witnessing is an unprecedented um, empowerment of these non-state actors that are taking advantage of the weakness in the state system. ISIS is a short-term symptom of the failure of the state of Syria and the vacuum that was created in the past couple of years. But that said, we are going to be dealing with the uh, emergence of violent jihadism and groups that are drawing their inspirations from um, al-Qaeda-type figures for many, many years to come. And we've learned that though even those countries where we believe the stability will endure for the very long term, we now need to recognize that the long term is much shorter than we expected.